who crosses, but we are we do know Scratch, of course, local Staten Island, Lucina play for the Deadly Alliance. And Tainted Renegades, actually. I guess since he's part of a Wi-Fi crew, that takes priority over DA. So yeah, to get to this hard. point, Ross had to beat Paso and Apana. So this might be interesting. I feel like against Squirtle, you want to stay more grounded since just hitting him. Yeah, right there. You can't really hit him with aerials since he's so mm -hmm. tiny and his dash grab is literally disjointed from his body. I think like using things like down throw and that throw are really good for you see now. Yeah, because honestly, like even though Squirtle has really, really fast options, the fact like his hitboxes are so stubby, like just makes it very difficult for him to approach. Like Squirtle yeah, just like waits for you to overextend, right? You see Stretch playing a lot out of shield, just like, like, even though he's like respecting Cross and all of his whiffs right now, he's just really not letting him uh, play the game that he wants to. Controlling the ledge really, really well right now. It's like keeping up the corner pressure, but the double parry, very nice coming from Cross, letting him get back on. Cross tried to read like a runoff fair, I think, with uh, with that. Oh, that's a good counter. Clear mm -hmm. oh. oh, I didn't think that would kill. Wow. Yeah, I think I saw an air dodge actually come out from Cross. It's possible he tried to directional air dodge after he got hit. Oh, actually. yeah, if you like, if you directional air dodge, even if it's like towards the stage, I think it actually like can make you die early or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you your hurtbox actually shifts in the opposite direction for a split second uh, before you propel yourself. Um, to, to, to the intended direction. Really nice counting again. Stretch's edge guarding is impeccable, just not letting Charizard bleed at all. I thought Charizard's up, he had like super armor. I don't know why counters break it so easily. It, it might be on the startup. Or, or it's not It's not necessarily super wow. armor. Or it just might be like based on percent and knockback, and I guess counter is strong enough to beat it. Yeah. Regardless, it seems like Stretch is just like so confident taking these stocks at the ledge, but he you saw that he pushed in a little bit too far, and Cross was able to kind of get back. Oh no. Oh no. He buffered the side beat. That's awful. Yeah. Bit of an early stock to oh. take. Oh. But no, that's it. Game two. Okay. Sick. Okay. I feel like these games are going by so quickly. Yeah, Wi-Fi games usually take really long because like everyone's just whiffing. But that was pretty clean. To say about that, there isn't like a whole lot to say about this game. Honestly, I think Stretch did a really good job. Like he's obviously really, really experienced and comfortable in edge guarding. Uh, PT Charizard, especially like every single time that Cross tried to recover with Charizard, he died. But it doesn't matter what percent he was at, he got countered, he got knocked away, and he just couldn't make it back. Um, so I think in game two, I don't know, recover better? I, don't, <laughs> I think I think also maybe Cross could try to prioritize using Ivy Sword a little bit more when he's off stage like that. Um, that might be especially helpful, but yeah. I definitely think Squirtle's the strongest of Cross's trio. And mm -hmm. also going battlefield against Lucina, like her her advantage is just so oppressive on that stage. It's so much harder to win. Yeah. Like, out of disadvantage. I know, like he loves that stage. Mhm. Mm Definitely. Just like having the platforms above the head, like lets Lucina land up tilt so easily. Lets Lucina juggle and catch landing so easily with her like huge swinging hitboxes. Definitely yeah. makes it a little bit more difficult for PT to just like hit the ground at times. Yeah, I definitely think he should like pick a just a, just a bigger stage. Or just 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 not try flats. Mm-hmm. Also, Dar, am I like staticky, kinda? Uh, speak for the moment again. Hi. Um, I hear like a little bit of reverb on your end, but everything other than that should be good. Hey guys. What about uh, it? can you unmute Devin so he can speak to you, and he'll mute and unmute himself whenever okay. he needs to talk. Sounds good. 
What are you doing? Okay, yeah, Devin, sorry about the mute. Yeah, what's up? I can hear you. Yeah. It's fine. Um, I'll just mute myself, so if in case I need to say anything. But yeah, I'm pretty sure the static is the random static is coming from uh, Krusty. Also, this is taking mm -hmm. a long time. Is it? Is it fixed now? Uh, I mean, it it's not consistent. It's just like it's consistently random. So, like if I hear no. it, it, it sometimes pops up here and there. Yeah, but it's not like loud though, right? It, no, it's about the same volume as you're speaking, so it, it's oh. kind of loud. It's loud enough where I wouldn't want it. Here, um, do this. If it's something that's happening in your background, try using the noise cancellation thing that Discord now has. Oh, yeah, oh, try that. that. So, so, like, look on the left side where it says, like, voice connected. Like, it gives you, like, the option to disconnect, go live, and noise cancellation oh, powered by noise suppression, right? Yeah, that. Yeah. Well, well, that might actually help a little bit. That's it, it really works super well in like the other calls that I've been. But game two, they are going to be opting for PS2. Yeah, definitely a much better stage choice. Gives uh, Pokemon Trainer a little bit more space. You see Cross is being very, very patient, seeing if Stretch is going to overextend press a button first. Uh, but that does not seem to be the case. I don't know. I'll, I'll do it when. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is a smart stage stick from Cross again. He went, yeah, just do a bigger stage. Mm -hmm, definitely. Nice up the out of stretch, just like catching the dash in. Um, Cross is now pacing this game completely differently from game one, but I feel like Stretch just has like a much better sense of his hitboxes and his burst range. Every time that Cross goes in, like he just gets smacked in the face for it, basically. I love watching Stretch just like stand over there for a sec. With like a 60% lead, he's like, nah, you gotta approach me. I love seeing Stretch hold somebody at the corner and then just randomly press up the nice up, nice up smash. Um, mm -hmm. Nice reaction on the on the air dodge back down. Yeah, this is a huge lead for him, 30%, um, you know, 40%, like not a whole lot. Um, definitely has like nothing to worry about quite yet. Frost is getting a little antsy. He's like holding forward a lot. Mm -hmm. Static happening right now, by the way. I'll try to do it. Yeah, I'm starting to hear it too. Yeah. I think that was a good grab on the ledge. Gonna get that smash for it. Cross is maybe trying to get an early kill with like either his ba uh, back or uh, F tilt. Maybe like seeing if Scratch would throw out a defensive option. But nah, Scratch is just chilling. He just keeps waiting for Cross to do something first. Oh my god. You oh guys my can god. Hear any of that, right? No. Okay. Really, 39%. Cross is just struggling to get anything started. It seems like every time he tries to land against Stretch, and that's it. That's gonna be the game. The oh my god. Stretch is so good, man. Every time I see him play, 